Hi, hello, welcome to all those people who are watching me live on Bring Again and Alston's group and also Sumo Deals. Uh, you know, today after two cancellations, I'm uh, back with it another uh, very interesting, uh, you know, uh, product and uh, amazing founders as well. And I've been having a chat with them for the last 10, 15 minutes and uh, I've uh, been uh, talking to them over email as well uh, in the last couple of days to make this session happen. Uh, very interesting product. Uh, so I thought that, you know, we should be, uh, you know, we should give them a platform to talk about this platform. Uh, so we've used quite a lot of uh, email, email tools and Jelly Reach is what, you know, we are going to talk today. Uh, it's yet another uh, tool with a lot of amazing features. Uh, I've had a... I'm also waiting just like you to see a sneak peek because the product is yet not launched. Uh, they are launching on Black Friday. So I am excited. I know I, I really, uh, by whichever means I ask them for a sneak peek, ask them to give me a trial account, etc. They said, you know, we will show you a demo because, you know, there are some phenomenal features and we just wanted to show it in person. And uh, I have Nedim and Jasmine uh, from the Jelly Reach team. Uh, with me here. Uh, Hello. Hi, Nadeem. Yes, Hello, everyone. Well, yeah, Hello. welcome to Bring Again and Alston's group. Uh, we are currently live on four Facebook groups, LinkedIn and YouTube as well. Uh, so I've been seeing, uh, I mean, seeing about Jelly Reach in the last one week or so. You guys have been doing uh, quite a good communication in all the communities. Uh, so I was very inquisitive. I generally go and uh, create a trial account try to play around with the application before I come to a demo like this. Uh, for the first time, I'm probably coming under prepared for a demo. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I mean, based on our conversation, uh, you know, I, 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 I knew that, you know, you guys wanted to show this demo to people so that, uh, uh, you know, they, they can really know the capability of this particular application. So I give it to you. So as much as others, I'm also waiting to see how uh, interesting this application would be and what problem it is going to solve. Uh, with the limited conversation that I've had with you, uh, probably you are positioning it like a Clavio, uh, you know, or an auto, I mean, glorified autoresponder, etc. So before we get into that, can you just give me a little background about your team and uh, where are you based in uh, so that uh, we will... Uh, uh, you know, we will know more about the background before we really trust in your application. Okay, uh, thank you, Venkatesh, and uh, hello to everyone. Um, Nedim and I are co-founders um, of uh, company Jelly Metrics. Um, we were doing uh, digital marketing and software development before. Uh, finally, uh, we uh, built this product called Jelly Reach. And uh, basically, uh, it's a marketing automation for uh, SMBs with a focus on e-commerce. Okay. Yeah, uh, it, it helps uh, audience to uh, send their contacts uh, personalized messages uh, with automation, with a lot with a lot of flexibility in segmentation, in um, uh, making uh, automations. We call them scenario as our feature. And uh, okay. then I think it will be very interesting. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I've been joined by, by my colleague Omar. Omar, welcome to the live session. It's been quite a while since you joined a live session. Glad uh, that you are here because, you know, I know how much you are interested in such a tool. Uh, so, I mean, it'll be a good value add having Omar with us. Uh, so, uh, Jasmine, I heard you loud and clear, but uh, uh, is, I mean, are there already a lot of tools available in this particular area? And, uh, uh, you know, is there anything specific that, you know, you, you build this, you know, in mind? Uh, or should I wait to see the demo uh, so that this question automatically gets answered? Yeah, well, uh, I, I, can, uh, I can tell you um, uh, there is, of course, a lot of tools. Uh, uh, and, uh, but um, a lot of those tools are very complicated with a steep learning curve with the okay. delivery issues uh, with a limited support and uh, all those things uh, we uh, simplified and make it easier for customers the idea of jelly reach is for uh, users that don't have previous 
experience with automation that okay. they can start uh, very fast with their campaigns. Also, uh, a lot of lot of uh, platforms and tools uh, are getting very expensive, especially as the number of the contacts in the account uh, rises. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we uh, decided to go uh, with the upcoming uh, lifetime deal offer. Is really? it is a chance for people to get a powerful tool for automation, basically for a lifetime. Yeah, fantastic. But yeah, then, because, uh, yeah, those, those uh, recurring costs can can be very high if you use some of the well-known platforms. You know what I mean. But, but then, why are you making us wait? You know, it's another eight days before we could lay our hands on uh, Jelly Reach, and in fact, uh, uh, even trial versions are not available. And I, I already see that you guys, you you guys are, uh, I mean. Uh, uh, creating a lot of touch points, you know, getting into a lot of communities, doing sessions like this. But then eight days is a too long period, uh, you know, in such communities. You know, we, we wanted to just jump in and buy immediately and and uh, decide or whether it's good or bad every day. Uh, so, what is the, I mean, strategy behind it? You know, it's been it's it's even eight eight more days that we need to wait to get uh, hang of this yeah. application. Well, it's just a few days away, so yeah, the the wait is almost over. Yeah, so it will be available. Yeah, especially for those with early access, uh, maybe a, a day or two before Black Friday, they they will uh, they can they will have a chance to access the tool and see for themselves. Okay, yeah. so, so so when you say early access. Uh... I mean, are you talking about the giveaway that you are doing on the website or uh, can we can early access people buy the LTD a couple of days before uh, the launch date? Uh, they, they will have not at the moment, but uh, uh, they will have that uh, opportunity, of course. OK, fantastic. Mosam, the pricing yes. structure is yet not on the website. Uh, probably before the end of the session, you may get some price point. Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the session to happen. So, okay, before, I mean, without taking much time, I think we should quickly jump into the product uh, so that uh, let's see how it works. And in fact, even I'm excited to see, as I told you, even I've not seen the interface yet. And you know, I've just seen some demos which are fairly interesting, but uh, rather videos which are fairly interesting, but I want to see it working. So uh, Nedim, uh, will you be giving us a demo now? Yes, I will. Uh, okay. Second. Okay, perfect. Can you just confirm that you can see? Yes, yep. we could see the screen. Okay, perfect. So, hello, everyone, again. So, this is uh, the first screen you see when you uh, get into a daily reach. So, basically, we will ask you a couple of questions that will help us to onboard you easier. So, let's see how it looks. So, the first page is selecting your uh, URL and category your business belongs to. For example, if you select e-commerce, you need to uh, select which e-commerce platform do you use. So basically, if you, if you select Shopify, uh, we will send you a couple of emails and um, educate you how to integrate Shopify easier. Also, uh, next step will provide you uh, better, better reports, uh, for example, if you select a lead generation or conversions, we will uh, help you with onboarding uh, that will be uh, adjusted to your main goal. And uh, also uh, everything starts from data. For example, um, we support uh, importing your data by API. You can also import a CSV document or you can add integration. At this point, uh, we support uh, Shopify uh, but also we are uh, working actively on WooCommerce and Magento. Uh, and before we launch, uh, we plan to build um, and release um, Public Connect because we figured out that a lot of people in the LTD community, uh, they use Publi. And once we uh, release Publi, uh, people will uh, be allowed to import their data uh, very easy because Publi supports, uh, I believe, uh, 700 and uh, 50, more than 750 uh, integrations. Uh, for now, I will skip this step. Uh, during our uh, market research, we figured out that a lot of um, LTD tools in this space, uh, they, they have problems with 
uh, email delivery because um, they are blacklist and things like that. So what we did is uh, we enabled adding uh, custom integrations. So if you have, let's say, Amazon simple email service account or Mailgun account, you can easily attach your account. You can get a dedicated IP address there, uh, keep your reputation, and then if if you decide to build in-house solution or whatever else, you can continue the use type. So uh, we are uh, we not doing the vendor locking. Uh, so we truly believe in uh, flexibility, but also you can use um, emails from our uh, plan, uh, which uh, leverages uh, Amazon Simple Email Service under the hood. Uh, I will skip this step for now and uh, confirm onboard. Now once you once you get in the tool, you also get some uh, suggestions and recommendations how you can uh, onboard easier. Uh, at this point, I will uh, switch to different workspace because I have some data in different uh, workspace. Um, so everything starts from contacts. Uh, we created uh, segmenting contacts very, very easy. For example, let's say you want to send a message to all contacts who are from the United Kingdom or Germany. How you do that? You just put a new segment, you select country here, you set equal to, and write, then you confirm, and you will get all contacts from the UK. Or you can get all contacts who are from. Now, what you can see here that uh, we uh, support segmentation based on attributes, events, and campaigns. Uh, the good part of Daily Reach is that uh, it uh, lets you uh, create custom attributes and events. So, when you get an account, you get attributes like contact ID, first name, last name, you know, phone, gender, and things like that. But you can always build your custom attribute, and then you can uh, you can send your data that can be used for segmenting. For example, if you use public connect, uh, you can uh, create a custom attribute that you have in lead pages or some other tool, create that attribute here, and then you can use that attribute for uh, segmentations. Uh, the same thing is for events, um, and you can create uh, event attributes. Um, also, it's possible to get all contacts who purchased in the last 30 days or whatever else. How it works, you just click on events. Order, you select the attribute. We have product ID, product name, price, and things like that. You can filter that in the last 30 days and you confirm. Now, my data is not, uh, I, 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 my, this is just a demo account, so I don't have any orders, but uh, I, I can show you with uh, this uh, criteria how to create a segment. So you just create, press on save segment and uh, And that's it. If you open segments, you can see your segments and you will get the number of contacts here. Um, it's possible to import your data by CSV document also. You just click on import CSV and you drop the CSV document. Match columns with attributes. So let's say this is first thing, first, last thing, email, save. And here you can select how, how to import. Should you you need to decide you want to insert in bulk or update or insert. Update or insert is a good option if you already have some data, so, so you don't create duplicate uh, contacts. So you can just select your identifier, save, and that's it. And it will be processed, and you, you'll get all your contacts that are ready for the release. Um, regarding campaigns, uh, we support uh, two types of campaigns. We support scenario campaigns and one-time campaigns. Uh, first, let's see how one time campaigns work. So, you just go new campaign, set a campaign name. Here, we have objective. For example, you, you can set objective as order or some other event. And this is also when uh, Jelly Rich flexibility comes. You can create uh, in settings a uh, custom event and use it as an objective, or you can use all, one of uh, already uh, created events here. For now, let's click with no objective. You can switch channel. You can select your audience. You can search, you can send a message to all contacts or some specific segment. Let's say I want to select the all contacts from UK or Germany. The segment I previously created. And test I will click here and after. 
after that, I need to add a body. Now we support the drag and drop editor, rich text editor, or plain text. Here you have some uh, basic layouts, and also uh, we have about 25 already pre-designed emails, uh, but you can see them if, if, I, if I click here, because this is my test account and I need to uh, import. Uh, we are, so basically, if, if you see some bug here, mm. that, sorry, that is uh, because uh, we are doing fine, final tunings before we release, but everything will be fine uh, once we release. So let's say I want to, to create a new template. After a couple of seconds, I can create some email. There's another here. I can save. You can also save it to the template and use it later. Now let's go back. Um, here uh, we have UTM track. Uh, Tracking parameters, so so you can enable it or you can customize your UTM parameters and add your own. Now let's stick to this save. Now let's refresh. Oops. Sorry about this. Just as I mentioned, it's possible to, to have some some bug because I'm doing some final things. Um, okay. Also, you can schedule your emails. You can schedule now, in 15 minutes, in 30 minutes, in 60 minutes, tomorrow, or you can select some uh, custom, custom attribute, custom date and time, schedule, or you can remove schedule if you figure out that you don't want to send that. Uh, when it comes to scenarios, uh, we support um, different uh, ways how people enter the scenarios. Also, you, you can select your template. Uh, we already prepared a couple of uh, templates, but let's now stick with uh, this one basic from scratch. So triggers we have now on date, repeat on event. So let's say you want uh, you want to send an email after someone purchases because you want to ask for, for, for a review. You just select on event trigger. You select order event after that let's say you want to wait for seven days you double click save select and wait uh, now you you drop email after that you can add some add some condition and send another email. so how how it how it works so once someone purchases people uh, the tool will wait for, for seven days and um, it will send an email that you can add in design here. After that, uh, you can, sorry, you can wait for some days and check if someone left a review. So re reviews are good for e-commerce businesses because they make your uh, page uh, more useful and Google uh, loves when you provide useful content. So if someone wants to purchase something, it's always good to, 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 uh, for users to see reviews about, other, uh, about, about, about that product. So how this scenario works, after someone purchases, the tool will wait for seven days. After that, it will, it will ask customer to send an email after that, we we'll wait for seven days. It will check if user purchased by adding filter here. If, if not purchased, we'll let the review. And after that, it will uh, send a new email if user didn't purchase. Of course, you can go to settings, add custom event, and use it later. Um, you can you can add. Um, more uh, providers for example for sms uh, we support Twilio. so what you need to do is just click on sms as sms provider enter your Twilio credentials with that connection and save uh integrations as, as i just mentioned uh, we support shopify but more integrations are coming soon we plan to create a lead a generation so you can create a pop-up or landing page or some uh, top bar or sidebar and the many other uh, forms. Um, here are email templates. 
this is uh, animal template I created uh, during uh, when, when, I, when I was showing uh, one time campaigns. I can create a campaign from this uh, template or I can delete it if I don't like it. The idea is to make it really, really uh, flexible and easy. Uh, we support API. So if you uh, have some programming uh, knowledge, you, you can create an API key and use it for sending your contacts, your events, or uh, whatever else. Uh, it's possible to adjust your uh, time zone. So reports will be uh, in, in, in your selected time zone. You, you can add your currency, you can decide you want to track opens, clicks, and things like that. Uh, let me just see if I missed something. Yeah, I, I think I covered uh, most of the features. Um, Yeah, that's it. You can dupl duplicate your campaign. And so, sorry, sorry for this bug about uh, doing some final tunings and uh, something might not work during this uh, demo, but once you release, everything will be, will be fine. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, so now if, if you have some questions, I, I can answer them. Okay, so there are uh, plenty of questions and uh, I think uh, you had answered most of it, but I think for benefit of people who tuned in a little late, I let's take those questions again. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, let me see, let me okay. see questions. Yeah, yeah, I, sure. I saw that the, the, there was so this a, is the yeah. one. Uh, are you launching this LTD uh, in only your pla in your website, or are you going? Are you coming on any of those platforms? Uh, we we will be on our website and some platforms. We won't be on AppSumo uh, because AppSumo I think asks you for exclusivity, and we, we cannot. Uh, afford that as well. Fair enough. So, so right now it is. Sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, the, I mean, there are some pricing related questions which I'll keep it to the end, uh, but uh, uh, this is about integration. So, this user has asked Is there a way to have integrations with Fluent CRM? Uh, at Fluent this point, CRM? no, but okay. if. Uh, if we don't have native integration. We have only for Shopify. But if we, we will release Publi Connect very soon before the Black Friday, and if there is a fluent on Publi Connect, then you can uh, then you can uh, integrate it with Galileo as well. Fantastic. Uh, who are commented this particular question? Can you just comment your name because uh, your name is not displayed, so that I can add you to the giveaway. Okay, the next question is from Mausam Choudhury. Uh, so, while designing the email templates, is there any file type restrictions like images have to be JPG or we can upload other formats like PNG, GIF, etc. Also with video formats like MP4 and MKV. And uh, mm -hmm. follow-up question on the same line, any file size restrictions? Uh, this is while designing the email templates. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you can upload PNG. You uh, as for video formats, uh, I think that is not possible because uh, uh, I'm not sure how, how you can embed uh, video in emails. Uh, but I'm not 100% uh, for sure. I, I will check this definitely out. Uh, yeah. As for file restrictions, uh, I think it is uh, 20 or 30 MB. Uh, yeah. Let, let me let me just see. Sorry. But when when you are launching, there are a lot of questions, uh, a, a lot of parts you, you need to cover. So sometimes you miss something. You want to share your screen again? Yeah. 
-hmm. You can so so, so you, you can uh, provide uh, the address, okay. or or you can or you can drop. But uh, uh, the thing is that uh, it's not a good idea for uh, uploading a large image, for example, because it will take uh, more time to load for you. So it's always good to, to optimize. Fair enough. Okay. So going to the next question, I think a lot of people have asked this question because they probably tuned in a little late. Can we just uh, spend some time on this? So right now, uh, Jelly Reach has got Shopify integration. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. With Publi, and Publi. We, we plan to publish Publi uh, before the launch. We okay, are and actually working on Publi. Okay, and but WooCommerce is not ready yet? No, it's not ready yet. We completed um, about 50% of WooCommerce. We plan okay. to release it in December on January. Okay. Um, cannot say exactly. Fair because uh, when building a WooCommerce, it required us to build a JavaScript library so you can send up, so you can send events, and there's a lot of work with uh, Woo WooCommerce, but 50% of it is WooCommerce. Fantastic. So I think that was my follow-up question. So uh, your ETA for WooCommerce is probably end of January, uh, max, I mean, uh, latest by end of January. It could be earlier than that as well. Is that a, is that a fair assumption? Yes. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Okay, my this next question is from Nilayan Ghosh. Mm -hmm. uh, so, can it? Yeah. Okay. WooCommerce. Okay. Again, this has been answered already. So again, everything is on uh, WooCommerce. Mm -hmm. You answered this question, but anyway, uh, for the benefit of person who was asked, uh, SendGrid and SES. So, bo we can send mails using SendGrid and SES. Is that right, or only SES? You can. Send with Amazon SCS. SendGrid is okay. not supported. Uh, okay. I, I, it's not released, but it is uh, already prepared. But we don't want to deploy all these tools because we want to see how uh, how they work. Because it's one thing when you build locally and develop, and it's another thing when you uh, put it on production. So we yeah. have SendGrid prepared, but we will okay. not release that. Uh, at first, because we want to make the one hundred percent for sure that everything else is working very well. Okay, but fair it enough. is. Um, we we can say that there there will be a uh, sandwich as well. Okay, so yeah, I, I think the, you answered this uh, already. But then, uh, uh, can you give me a brief about your team members? You know, what how large is your team? uh you know and uh, where are you located and uh is this your first uh, SaaS product yes it is our first SaaS product but we used okay. to work as software developers for other companies okay just like outsourcing but we decided that it is better to build your own products so we have experience in software development but this is our uh, first uh, SaaS SaaS product product definitely um yeah that's it okay yeah. and so maybe i just want to add something yeah it's yeah. second time uh, we are uh from uh bosnia and herzegovina that is uh, in europe for those who don't know yeah, yeah. southern europe yeah uh, how how large is the team uh jasmine huh? Nedim and I are co-founders. We have uh, other partners and uh, uh, also uh, we have a good community of uh, developers Developers. and uh, also uh, we'll, we'll uh, spread our team mostly because of the support that we are expecting. Fantastic. So for also, example, these days, sorry for interrupting you, uh, these days we are uh, working on deployment and um, configuring our infrastructure and we, um, and we hired a consultant who is helping us to set up everything. So there are some uh, people who are helping us on, on this project, but the two of us are co-founders. Okay. So I, anyway, you answered one part of it. Any plans for Pabli? Yes, uh, you know, Pabli integration would be there. Uh, but are you also having plans of, or is it day in the roadmap with respect to integrately integration? Uh, because that's also yet another uh, 
uh, you know, tool like Pabli and Zapier. So, do you guys have any plan to do that? We, we plan to, to release a roadmap once we release the app. Also, we plan to create a Facebook group for users so mm -hmm. we can discuss with them what should be a priority for uh, upcoming uh, release. Because we, we think and truly believe that we are building this uh, for people and we need to uh, discuss with customers what is the most important feature for them so we don't spend our time in building something that they want to use. For example, um, we receive questions like, will you support creating the coupons dynamically? Because in Clavio, for right. example, you can create a coupon code within Clavio and then you can distribute it. And we, that is a, one question we received and we uh, put that on our roadmap and we will ask customers to be integrate uh, that, that uh, feature. Fantastic. Okay, the next question is from, uh, okay, Rohit. Uh, can we import HTML email templates from Stripo? Stripo is another email template software. So yes. can we import templates from Stripo? Is that uh, possible? Mm -hmm. Um, we, we were testing Stripo and Unlayer, but we decided to go with Unlayer because it seems to be uh, better for us. Um, at this point, you cannot import HTML templates for Stripo, but there is a plan to add uh, a way for importing the HTML code. So let, let me just show you. So you see, you see, you have drag and drop editor, rich text editor, and plain text. And we plan to add fourth type, uh, which will be HTML, so you can import the HTML code here. Okay. Uh -huh. um. Okay. The next question is from Mithul. Uh, he is asking. Uh, what are the SMTP supported currently? And I heard you saying SES, are there anything else uh, that are supported and what else is there in the roadmap? Uh -huh. We support Amazon Simple Email Service, we support Mailgun, Mailjet, and SparkPost. We support that is for email, for Twilio, for SMS, we support Twilio. Okay. Okay. Uh, support to you. Okay. Can we, uh, you know, apart from this, can we have our own SMTP? Uh, is that uh, allowed? Because we may use something else. Uh, would can that be? Can those be custom SMTP be integrated with this application? Uh, at this point, you cannot create a custom. Uh, okay. A custom channel. The idea is to, but I just need to. Fantastic. One minute, we one minute. For actions, we have a email, SMS, and Viber. There is a plan to add that hook here. So basically, when something happens, you drop that hook here, and then we send a post or get request. So that is uh, also what we plan to add here. As for mm -hmm. channels, it supports only these four, as mentioned, but no, no custom uh, channels providers. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I hope that answers your question. Uh, there are uh, some questions from Abhishek. Uh, uh, he's asked, uh, I hope you designed uh, currencies in mind. I'm asking this because a few tools, example Shopify, were not INR friendly when initially launched. I really do not know where this will play a role, but then uh, Abhishek is asked a question about how uh, friendly this tool is on multi currencies. Um, we like the idea of flexibility. Uh, every um, every contact, every event, or whatever else. You can create custom properties, and in case we don't support, you can easily add your custom settings. Fantastic. So it, it's possible to, to, to cover a lot of use cases. Okay. 
So this is a question from Mausam Chaudhary is asking, do you have dedicated support team or you guys will be managing the support yourself? Uh, uh, see, these questions point? are very important when it comes to decision making because they really wanted to know uh, because this is a very important tool for the running of the business and having invested in that, uh, they just want to know the longevity of the solution and all those. So it's very critical for them to know uh, you know the size of the team and your commitment towards this product. You know that's why you know these keep these questions keep coming. Uh, so, do you have a de dedicated support team, or would it be the same development team which would be handling mm -hmm. the support? Well, at this point, no. But once you release, all new team members are coming. Okay, we fantastic. are already we are already discussing with our potential team members, so it will be good. Uh, very very soon. Brilliant. So, uh, I, I mean, this question has also come up, but I also had this question. Why Jelly Reach? You know, why did you name this application as Jelly Reach? Mm, and, and, well, I, and I saw that your company's name is also Jelly Metrics. Is that right? Is that uh, the organization name? So, yes, so, that is a legal name. We wanted to, uh, to build uh, analytics software. So, that's why we put metrics. But that is just an old idea and we we uh changed uh the the industry the the fields and now we have a jelly and jelly uh actually comes from uh jellyfish because i, I was watching some tv series uh i think uh, the blacklist and okay. there was some uh th th there was some episode about some jellyfish and i took jelly fr from that and put metrics but once we decided to change the idea of our product, we okay. put, uh, reach, like reach your contacts, reach your customers, and we have the reach. Got it. Fantastic. So now uh, this is a question that I've been holding on. Uh, I mean, as I say, when, when we began, we started talking about it. Uh, there is no price point that is mentioned on the website. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the LTD is also available only eight days from now, you know, for on Black Friday. Uh, so do you want to give us any indication of how the pricing would be so that we will be uh, kind of mentally prepared, uh, you know, for uh, uh, the launch rather than getting surprised uh, after eight days? I do not know if you guys have already done your math, uh, but even if you can give us an indicative pricing, that would be very helpful. Uh, for the people who are watching us. Yes, of course. Um, uh, the pricing will depend on the numbers of the contacts in the account. Uh, the starting price, that's most likely, not yet officially, but most likely the starting price will be uh, $99 uh, for 10K contacts in the list. And then okay. uh, it will get bigger as the number of contacts increased. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah, but it's uh, not final yet. It's not final yet. Yeah, it's there, not. There's it's there's not some, definite, but but most likely. So, so if when you say it's not final, will it uh, increase or would it decrease? You know, what what can we expect? <laughs> it will be closed. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll so, see everything. We'll see everything. But we we want to provide a value for money. We don't want yeah. to charge something that is not worth. But we don't want to be. Uh, too too much too much cheap if if we provide uh, more value. So we want to create a real price. You get a okay. uh, uh, value value uh, for money. Okay, and I'm sure that you are doing your market research in terms of uh, how competing products are priced. Uh, you know the price point of uh, similar products, uh, etc. And I'm sure that you guys are doing that uh, fairly well to be very competitive uh you know to people to buy your application uh so i mean i'm i'm sure that you would have done the homework uh so this is a follow-up question this is from mithul he's asking how many ltd licenses are you planning to sell before going monthly i mean i'm definitely we know that we have certain targets uh because ltd is not a sustainable model so uh are you do you guys have any number in mind before you get to uh mrr our idea is to, re to reinvest the money we get from LTD into the product, so we can we, we can uh, use that money for hiring additional uh, mem developers, 
so we can make the tool better about the number of licenses i i, I have no idea how many in the last one because i'm not okay. uh, in yeah, we'll we'll see uh, how the uh, campaign goes, and uh, uh, it it definitely uh, the plan is to to quickly move to a monthly subscription. But um, uh, we'll uh, we'll see. It depends. It depends on the campaign. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, uh, Omar, you have any questions? Yeah. Um, I was just going to ask in uh, regards to the. To the roadmap uh, do you have any inclination of whether you're going to add pop-ups and revenue attribution as well so i think revenue attribution is one of those things that most people go to clavio because they seem to be the one of the only ones that do it so if that's something you did add that would be a huge a huge uh, initiative to buy i think uh, we, we, i agree definitely with you uh, we created uh, objective uh, feature when you create a campaign you can set your objective for example your objective after that uh, you will you you can see the list of people who uh, completed the objective and what percentage of people uh, completed the objective and we are also preparing attributions so, so you can see uh, how much money is that so for example you create a, a scenario that will say happy birthday to your contacts and each day you send uh, a message with a discount code, for example. And after that, you can see how your uh, how your campaign is performing, uh, how much money that creates for you, how many people uh, completed the ob objective, and things like that. So that is in uh, in mind. Definitely, at this point, we don't have uh, attribution uh, in terms of money. We only have the list of people and the percentage of uh contact to satisfy the, the objective but we will add that as well okay and yeah they are going in that up in that direction and for pop-ups um you, you mean like a lead uh, capturing and then the lead, lead capturing uh, yeah. so yes, you have the entire uh, life cycle that just goes through jelly uh, jelly what is it called jelly reach jelly rather jelly. than yeah yeah rather yeah than it, it third party. capturing really it's not released yet and we plan to first quarter of the next year. Okay, I also um, recognize that when you were doing the demo, I didn't see an analytics dashboard. So um, how are we gonna view our metrics? Mm -hmm. Let me just see if this, if I have data. Okay, I don't have data here, but this is how it looks. So you, you have an overview like how many emails you sent, delivered, open, click, fill, and now unsubscribe. Uh, after that, uh, you can see uh, the list of people who, who received the message, who opened, click, and the list of people who completed uh, the objective. But I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't have data here. So I, can, okay. I cannot show you with the real numbers. So this is basically the analytics without the data, yeah? But this is my demo account. Yeah. That has no has no data, but let, let me just see if I if I have. Uh, okay, yeah, maybe we can continue with other questions, and in the meantime, I I will uh, I'll find a way to show you how, how it looks. Yeah, so just one more question from my end. Uh, do you have any um? idea if you can add like um the ability to add custom catalogs logs related to custom catalogs so um where you catalogs. upload your product aha uh -huh. not log. okay yeah. catalog yeah because if it's e-commerce based then i think that would be um yeah. necessary to have mm, uh, at this point that is not uh, not possible but when you when you create uh when we create uh, an order event or add to cart event, yeah. Shopify, for example, and other platforms as well, we'll pass that data and we use that data for uh, for reports. But I, I, I believe it would be a nice if you can open some specific product and see how it performs uh, for, for people who are uh, buying that product and things like that. So catalog is on the roadmap. 
Yeah, generally regarding the feature, uh, we will uh, listen listen the community and our users, and according to their feedback, we will pro prioritize uh, what what will come uh, first. Yeah, I think my only concern with that is uh, I think when you ask the LTD community, not everybody is from the e-commerce background; they're more from a services background. So yeah. um, they won't. Yeah, uh, if if you're focused on e-commerce, then I don't think <laughs> you're going to get the right feedback. So yeah. somebody from the yeah somebody from somebody who's running an e-commerce business will um, understand uh, what is needed more than somebody from a service-based background, which you know I'm not saying people don't understand how e-commerce business is run. It's just people have certain needs depending on the type of business they run. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. But uh, we already have uh, uh, we we already have uh, a lot of. Uh, requires for WooCommerce integration. And with WooCommerce and Shopify, I believe that big part of our users will be, uh, or, or a good part of our users will be um, from the e-commerce, yeah. Yeah. Oh, one, mm -hmm. one, last, one last question, sorry. So uh, sometimes these uh, platforms are really difficult for beginners. So do you have any uh, intention or plans to have like um, a library of videos or some educational information run through yeah. of how to do certain things? Yes. Documentation is something that we will uh, deploy on the uh, on, once you launch. And so also, you, you also will have the tutorials videos. there to, to read everything. And so, for example, you see if you open channels and press add provider, it says. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me your screen is not shared. Hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can share. Okay. Yep. For example, if you open channels and press on, click on add provider and select. Amazon Simple Email Service. It says, in order to activate Amazon Simple Email Service, you need to enter information. In case you don't know how to do that, or you don't have an Amazon SES account, you can learn more in our documentation center. And then if you click, it will open you, and you, you can read everything about integrating on Amazon channel or something else. For example, the theory, you can read about theory. OK, that's, that's fine. This is yeah, how I'll... customer profile looks. I forgot to, to show you. Um, so basically, you can unsubscribe contacts based on channels. For example, if someone bounces on SMS, you can unsubscribe you, but you can keep uh, using emails or, uh, or, or, or Viber or something else. Um, it will tell you how, how many how many orders each contact says? What is an order, or are there average order? Sorry, average order value. You can see the list of uh, contact attributes. You can see messages. Um, I was, I was just going to ask quickly uh, in this section, do they have um, to what segments they belong to as well, or is that information not available? That is not available yet. Okay, okay. Because I think uh, if I was looking at a client uh, information, I'd want to know what segments. They belong to as well, so maybe mm -hmm. that, that is something you can yes. consider. Yeah, it, um, it was in our uh, first version, but we removed that because uh, we we, uh, we were doing some um, refactoring, changing our code base, and um, it's still um, something that needs to be refactored. Okay, that's fine. Uh, one last question from me. So, when you actually launch the LTD in uh, eight days mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Will there be a free account available to, for people to test, or would it be pay and play? Uh, because from from our experience buying LTDs, uh, if we're unsure about a product, we'd rather test uh, a free account, a trial account, uh, mm -hmm. rather than buy it and then apply for a refund. Because it works out more expensive for you that way. Because um, if you if you're dishing out refunds and when people test the product and they don't like it for whatever reason or they might just have changed their mind or have a change of heart. It's always, I think, better in my experience to have a free trial. It could be just a couple of days, you know, three days, five days, seven days, whatever it is. I think um, it's easier in the long run rather mm -hmm. than you responding as support and then issuing refunds. So uh -huh. we, we are, we are uh, still uh, deciding on that. That's something that we, we haven't decided yet. Should we go with a free trial or should we go with uh, play, pay? And then, if you don't like it, you can refund. So we will um, we will decide that until until the release. Okay. okay. Yeah. When we, so, when we move, of course, when we move to monthly subscription, there will be free trial. But uh, yeah. now, while while LTD 
is, is on uh we, we are not sure yet yeah okay okay and how uh, how long is the refund period uh it's something that we still need to, to decide yeah okay fair it, enough because yeah. uh, that's yeah. extremely important for uh people to i mean uh trust the application try it out mm -hmm. and of course it, no questions asked refund would be yeah. a very yeah uh, yeah, it, it will it will be that way it will be no questions asked refund yeah whether it will be 14 days or 30 days between yeah that everything will be on the pricing page that will be published in, in the coming days mm -hmm. okay. um our idea is uh, not to take the money and leave we want to reinvest into the tool make it better and uh, we, I think there, there, there won't be uh, problems with refunds and things like that, uh, whatever we uh, decide. So our idea is to make a really, really good product and uh, uh, to listen what people are telling to us. So, for example, they, 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 customers will decide what should be a priority, that they will vote and things like that. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, further to what you showed about uh, documentation, uh, there's a request saying that, you know, also have video to tutorial. So that will be very helpful in effectively using the product. So yes, yes, we need recording video tutorials these days. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 yes. Uh, part as part of documentation and yeah, videos will be there. We know how that is important. And, uh, we, uh, our goal was to, to have easy tool that is very easy, even for beginners, but we, we also know that even if it's very clear people always need uh, additional documentation and, and videos actually to see how it works yeah. fantastic so yeah, uh, with, sorry for interrupting you uh, video tutorials are very good because uh, if, once you record video uh, people can watch it and uh, we can spend our time in building better products absolutely absolutely and uh, I mean, based on your, uh, I mean, interaction, I, I, is it safe to assume that we do not, you do not have a public roadmap right now? Yeah. Okay. We don't, and, have, we, don't we, will, uh, we will release that uh, once someone signs up, we will send a couple of emails. So we will tell customers, this is the address where you can join for Facebook group and ask us everything. This is our public roadmap and things like that. Yeah, there will be a Facebook group. Yes, fantastic. So we've so, answered guys, I'm, many times. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just going to take the opportunity to say goodbye. I have to run now. I've got a few things to do. Nice meeting you guys. Uh, I'm going to wish you guys all the best. It's not every mm -hmm. day that you know people um, launch products where I get really, really interested. I love yeah. email products, so you know I'm going to uh, hopefully me and Benki will uh, sit down and uh, once the product is released. And maybe we can do a live event testing it ourselves and getting some feedback as well. So yeah, uh, let's let's bash Clavio. I, I I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you Omar. Much. Nice to thank meet you. you. Nice to meet you guys. Venki, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, sure, Omar. Thank you so much. Take care, bro. So, Take care, guys. Bye okay. Now. So again, you know, uh, we've answered this question before. Uh, you know, this is uh, WooCommerce is coming up probably end of uh, January. Uh, Fluent CRM and uh, Fluent FMTP should be integrated using Pabli. Maybe, maybe we may not have a direct connect. And mm -hmm. uh, right now, own SMTP is not uh, something that you could use. Uh, but very likely, you know, once they launch the roadmap, probably we would be able to see if we can. I think uh, this is something that you need to look at, Nadim and Jasmine, because everybody is asking, you know, can we use our own SMTP? You know, that is. Uh, that is something that you need to seriously look at because this question has come up again and again and naturally WooCommerce. Uh, okay, and there's a suggestion before launching your LTD, it's better you speak with some good Facebook LTD to understand. Okay, so this is just a suggestion for, uh, you know, to for you to do a good pricing, understand the difficulties mm -hmm. of LTD and all those things. So. I think uh, we've come to the business end uh, of this session and uh, uh, now to the most uh, exciting and, uh, uh, you know, a session that uh, we've been looking forward to, part that the people have been looking forward to 
I have, I'm sharing my screen now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these are the people who have uh, engaged, one minute, let's, who have been engaging with us uh, throughout the session with their comments, etc. I've added all their names. Uh, so let me see. In, uh, I've not missed any name. Okay, I have not missed any name. So people who are watching us, do see if your name is there. Otherwise, please comment your name. Otherwise, I will not be able to see. There is uh, one comment that came on Fluent CRM. I still do not have uh, your name. Uh, uh, if you are seeing this, uh, please, uh, you know, comment your name. And uh, and uh, whomsoever said by Omar, I still do not have name. I have to uh, add your name as somebody who commented by Omar. I am not there. Carlos okay, Pereira. Okay, don't say I'm not there. Just mention your name uh, if you are not there. Because uh, sometimes I'm not able to see those names. Uh, Berhan Turk. Oh, I'm sorry. How did I miss you? Which stream are you watching as Berhan? Uh, I, I went through all the streams. Somehow I missed your name. Berhan Turk. Carlos, are you the one who gave the, who who asked the fluent CRM question? Ah, okay, Carlos Ferrara. Then I will remove the fluent CRM comment. I do not know which stream you are watching us from. Okay, Facebook. Ah, okay, which Facebook group? I mean, there's some group which I'm missing. Okay, uh, who so who wished bye to Omar? Okay, I think uh, these are the names. Uh, uh, if you are not there then uh, I'll give you another 10 seconds to just comment your name so that I can add them here. So one last time I'll also go to all the groups. Yes, I think we are done. So Nadeem and Jasmine with your permission um, for the giveaway can I spin the wheel? Sure. Yeah, sure. Brijesh, Brijesh wins cool. the giveaway. Brijesh, code by commenting in whichever stream that you're watching us from, else you'll have to forfeit the giveaway and I need to spin the wheel again. Brijesh, please comment in whichever stream that you're watching us from. If you don't comment, you will lose. We'll have to forfeit and I need to spin it again and our rule says that you need to be present in the session and claim the giveaway during the live session itself okay Brijesh congratulations Brijesh okay Brijesh has commented okay okay (laughs) fine so Brijesh wins the giveaway for Jelly Reach uh Brijesh, uh, uh, okay, he's there. He's there, Unais. He's just joined and he's commented as mm-hmm. well. And, uh, let me display his comment for the benefit of everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, uh, Brijesh, you need to reach out to the Jelly Reach team or me. And when the LTD is launched, or probably a couple of days before the LTD is launched, you will get a lifetime account from uh, Jelly Reach uh, for mm-hmm. being part of this. Uh, session and sharing all your feedback and comments uh, so you can uh, you can uh, get the ldd at jellyreach.com i will share anyway the uh, website address is uh, shared in all the groups uh, you can just go to jellyreach.com and then probably uh, register yourself uh, for uh, the i mean for the uh, reserve a spot 
and you may even win a giveaway uh, during that uh, during that uh, so uh, go reserve, reserve a spot for yourself and you will know when the ltd is launched and you are also uh, you know you are also eligible for a giveaway that comes directly from jelly reach uh, yes. beyond whatever rajesh wins yes. so just any- open jellyreach.com and you will see how, how to sign up for early access list and there is another chance to win a ltd uh, should i should i share your screen again yeah i just want to show i uh, sure sure Okay. Yeah. You see you just open jellyree.com to get the reaction. No, 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 we are not seeing your screen one minute. At least I'm not Oh, we lost Nedim. Okay, he's back. Here it is. Hello. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you are back Nedim. Yeah, okay, perfect. So you just you just need to open jellyreach.com and you see there is a chance to win a free account. Just click on win free account and that's it. Okay, so there are five accounts to be won. Uh and uh, you know if you register on the website, please do register and uh, I'm sure uh, you know I'm I mean uh, it's an amazing software. we'll wait for another 8 days and see how it is uh, you know once they are launching and uh, some of these people who are reserving the spot may get an opportunity to use the application before itself and uh, brijesh uh, you know once the ltd is launched reach out to me or jasmine or nedim uh, we will help you get your ltd so yes uh, any closing comments jasmine and nedim before we close the stream i just want to thank everyone for watching and i hope you liked uh sorry if there were some issues during my uh, demo presentations we are just doing the final uh tunings and everything will be ready uh until black friday so yeah that's it fantastic so best wishes for a great launch and uh you know may you get whatever you wished for during uh, the launch you know whatever was the target that you set yourself and uh, grow the product i mean and i'm sure you you set yourself a very high target in so in terms of competing with products which are most sought after uh, you know in the e-commerce uh, uh, i mean e-commerce space and uh, i i believe that you guys also are working very hard to make sure jelly reach is also on the top and uh, from the ltd community we will also give you enough feedback so that you know uh, along along with the product you know we also make sure that we contribute by giving our feedback and growing along with jelly reach okay thank you so much thanks for your time and thank as you always for the team thank minutes. everyone for for watching yeah thank you thank you so much bye bye thank you again bye 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 yeah